let's start talking about laws. And the first universal family law is the law of belongings. I belong to my family. I am part of my family. I must be included. You cannot forget about me. You cannot pretend that I am not there. Every person needs to be a part of his family. Every person needs to belong to a group, to be a part of a team in a uh, college, right? To be part uh, of uh, a team at work. Uh, but the most important to be part of something bigger than me, to be part of your family. And the law is saying that everyone should be included. Everyone should be part of the family. And in reality, every person belongs to two families, paternal family and maternal family, the family of the father and the family of the mother. If the person is excluded from one or another family, then the problems occur. So let's talk about examples, how people can be excluded from the family and how it can affect their lives. Uh, the first and very common example is about family secrets. Uh, if uh, it was a rapist, uh, somebody who murdered another person, maybe a father who, um, who was abusive, or maybe a person who created a suicide, a lot of time family is uh, hiding those stories. They do not talk about this person and they are blocking anything that can be related to that person. And there is a very good uh, cartoon uh, which called Coco, the Mexican cartoon, and I recommend to watch this movie um, because this is exactly about how one person was excluded from the family. And that person, he was a musician and he left the family because of his business. And a few generations later, he had a great grandson who had the talent in music and he really want, wanted to follow his passion but all his family prohibited him to do music and um, in cartoon you can see how the boy is struggling because of uh, somebody was excluded from the family so i have a talent i got my talent from my great grandfather but i cannot use my talent because that person is excluded uh it was uh, in, in a cartoon, you can see how family is not allowing to talk about that person and anything that can be, be that can be related to music. A great example, a great movie. Highly recommended. Uh, the second um, example is uh, my life story, also about family secrets. Uh, my grandmother, she used to have a box. And that box was hidden inside the closet. And I did not know what was inside the box, but my mom and my grandmother was telling me, do not touch this box, do not look inside. And I was leaving uh, and coming to my grandmother's house day after day, thinking that something terrible was hidden in this box. I was afraid, I was leaving with the anxieties and I was not sure what might happen. I thought maybe one day somebody will jump out of the box or it was terrifying when you don't know what is it inside and every adult uh, tells you that do not touch it, then it creates an anxiety for the children. And one day, uh, when nobody was home, I decided to check inside the box. And I opened the box and it was um, pictures from my grandfather's funeral. And it was black and white pictures. Everything, everybody was wearing black. And I got terrified even more because I did not know what it was. I saw that it was like my mother who was nine years old. I recognized her because she looked like me. And I saw my grandmother and I saw that people were like crying on the pictures. I, I did not know how to react. Uh, I'm not little anymore, but I still remember that story because this is 
this is how strong how it was for me. I was terrified and I put all the pictures back in the box and because it, I was not allowed to touch this box, of course I did not tell parents. Of course I was not able to share my fear with anybody, my anxiety. So at first I was living with anxieties and then when I discovered that box, my anxiety level went even higher. Uh, of course, it creates psychological trauma because nobody should be excluded from the family. Every person should be part of the family, no matter if it was like hard situation, maybe if it was a murder or somebody else. Uh, family should not exclude anybody because exclusion creates fear, creates anxieties. Uh, the next example. When a father uh, is not the part of the family and the mother is prohibited to talk about the father or she might pretend that um, he does not exist and that everything is fine. So the children don't know anything about their father or they are not allowed to talk about him, even ask questions. Subconsciously, usually the child starts behaving like a father. He might move like him, he might use some, some intonations which will remind the mother about her husband. He might use uh, same posture, same words. Maybe he saw a father when he was like two or three years old and subconsciously he copied this uh, father's behavior pattern. and. When the child is growing, the more um, resentment he has towards his father, the more he will act like his father. 